For the next set of lectures, we're going to discuss the cardiovascular system. We will discuss the organs and structures of the cardiovascular system, along with how it works. The cardiovascular system is the system that is responsible for circulating blood to other systems and tissues. It is composed of two circuits, the heart, and blood vessels. In the human body, a circuit is a closed loop that starts and finishes at the same place. And there are two circuits of the cardiovascular system. The first circuit is between the heart and the lungs, and this is called the pulmonary circuit. And the second circuit is between the heart and the body, and we call this the systemic circuit. Next, we'll discuss the membranes of the heart. The membrane that surrounds the heart is a serous membrane. And before we can talk about the membrane of the heart, we need to discuss the different parts of a serous membrane. The first part of the serous membrane is called the parietal serous membrane. The parietal serous membrane is the outermost membrane surrounding the organ. The second part of a serous membrane is the visceral serous membrane. The visceral serous membrane is the innermost membrane. It's the part of the membrane that actually touches the organ itself. Between the parietal serous membrane and the visceral serous membrane is the third part of a serous membrane called the serous cavity. A cavity is simply a space, and in this case, it's a space between the parietal and visceral membranes. Within this space, or cavity, you'll find the fourth part of a serous membrane, and that's called serous fluid. Serous fluid serves two functions. It is a shock absorber, and it helps reduce friction between organs. The membrane surrounding the heart is called the pericardium, and because the pericardium is a serous membrane, it has four parts. The first part is called the parietal pericardium. The parietal pericardium is the outermost membrane surrounding the heart. The next part is the visceral pericardium. The visceral pericardium is the innermost membrane, and it is the membrane that actually touches the heart itself. In between the parietal pericardium and visceral pericardium is the pericardial cavity. And within the pericardial cavity, you will find pericardial fluid, which again acts as a shock absorber and helps reduce friction. In this illustration here, we're going to take a look at the composition of the wall of the heart and the inner lining or membrane of the heart. From a previous slide, we've already talked about the parietal pericardium, the visceral pericardium, the pericardial cavity, and the pericardial fluid. Next, we take a look at the composition of the heart wall itself, which is called myocardium. Myo means muscle, and cardi means heart. So literally translated, myocardium means heart muscle. The inner lining or inner membrane of the heart is called the endocardium. 